Hi, many thanks for joining us today. Could you um, just introduce yourself and what you do? Sure, I'm Mal Cullen. I head up the Americas business for Eagle Investment Systems. And Mal, what are the biggest data priorities this year? So I was at TSAM today speaking on a panel of people interested in the IBOR initiative right now. IBOR is taking on a lot of uh, interest across our client base. Part of the solutions around IBOR that Eagle helps solve is through our data-centric approach to solving business problems. We find that people that look at it from an accounting perspective are finding limitations around the capabilities of having to reprocess data, provide reconciliations to source systems and the operational overhead to their organizations. Other organizations that look at it from a front office perspective at the OMS side are finding similar data management limitations that are causing them to look for a centralized data management solution coupled with both the accounting and the front office to provide that holistic approach to solving the iBoard data needs. And what advice would you give to anyone in the midst of their regulatory data projects at the moment? So part of the reason firms are driving towards iBoard requirements is the fact that more and more firms are extending their asset mix coverage across more complex strategies. The regulatory pressures around having information and reporting delivered across the organization is causing them to enrich and extend their data sets beyond what the original accounting and front office systems are required. And the reporting requirements of an organization from a regulatory perspective require a much richer data set today than they did in the past, which again goes back to our problem of having a data-centric approach and solving it that way. And we're seeing the rise of more CDOs in the investment management uh, community and seemingly more interest in data in general. Does this reflect an increase in recognition in data as a driver for business growth? Absolutely. The more complex the asset class coverages are, the more complex the data strategies are underlying that to feed the systems that all of those different assets have to flow through. So whether it's from a front office perspective, from a risk reporting, from a compliance, or right through to the back office, all of that requires extensive extensions to the data strategies that people had traditionally been used to using. And what do you think the biggest opportunities are for data managers right now? I think the opportunity today is to solve business problems. People are looking at it from a technology perspective sometimes too much and looking at an over-architected end state architecture that would be perfect. The reality is people can do better than they are today by investing in data strategies. They can improve on the information they're giving their organizations. And having a central trusted source of data across the enterprise as a goal, however you reach that, would be a, would be a big uh, solved problem across the organization. And what do you predict the data landscape will look like in, in a year's time? I think more and more organizations are looking to continue to outsource. Service providers will definitely have a role in the data landscape as they continue to build up their, their capabilities. In addition, more and more of the legacy applications that our asset managers and asset owners are using today will eventually be replaced with more robust technology, more real-time and message-based applications that will make the investment in an initiative like an IBOR less expensive and less operationally expensive for an organization. And we'll see the ease of moving into that much, much easier.